Hello and welcome back to the NeoVim from Scratch configuration series part one and a half. In part one, we ended our session with a note on editor config, that there was a plugin for it for NeoVim that we can use to actually utilize and load editor config files and have them applied to our configuration for indent, for spacing, for new line at the end of the file and all that neat little stuff that you can actually do with editor config. If you don't know editor config yet, it's a little configuration format which you can use by placing a file called .editor config anywhere in your project somewhere and configure things based either on a global level or on a file type ending level where you can define for example the char set to be used, the indentation style to be used, if there should be a new line or a line feed or if you want a final new line or not. And actually, NeoVim does understand those files. Before, there was a plugin for that, um, which I told you about in the last session, but I in the meantime discovered that NeoVim actually supports this out of the box. So we can simply open up NVim here and, for example, take a look at our theme plugin here, which is the Kanagawa theme that we installed in the last session. Now, as you can see, we currently have tab spacing here, which uh, is displayed by four spaces for each tab. Let's assume we want to change that. Not only the width, we want to change that to two, but we want to change to a spaces indentation there as well for our whole project. So what we can actually do here is we create an editor config file here and we put in there that for every file that is in there, we want an indent size of two and we want indent style to use spaces. Now we simply save that file and if we now go back to our uh, plugin here, our Kanagawa, we can already see that there are still used tabs for indentation but only as two spaces per tab. Now if I do a simple retap command here we can see that my NeoVim setup here automatically retapped it according to the editor config. Since NeoVim version 0.9 NeoVim automatically supports the editor config file. You don't need to do anything else but simply create one of those files. If you are interested in setting up the base setup of NeoVim, please take a look at the linked video in this series where we did that in the first series, where we even configured something to auto-detect the indentation levels based on a file if there is no editor config file. I hope to see you in the next one of this series. Bye!